Thank you for joining me for another short and simple recipe from my first cookbook. Owning a pumpkin farm? What do I do with all the leftover pumpkins? One of my favorite fall breads is pumpkin bread. And the thing I love to do is to bake a huge batch and either give it away, freeze it, or have plenty for breakfast for days. So let's get started. So like most baking recipes, we will tackle this one in two parts, dry and wet ingredients. First you'll need one cup and four tablespoons of sour cream, four teaspoons of baking powder, two cups of butter at room temperature, four cups of sugar, four eggs, two cans of pumpkin puree, one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of ginger, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and one quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Before getting started, it's always best to preheat your oven, and I think we are at 350. Our first step is going to take our half a cup of sour cream and our two teaspoons of baking soda and whisk it together and then set it aside. The next step is to use your room temperature butter and cream it with your sugar. Add the sugar gradually. The goal of this is to make sure your butter and sugar is mixed and fluffy and creamy. This is going a little slow, so I think I'm going to speed up the RPMs just a tad. You know it's ready when it's like cream, fluffy butter. We're going to take our pumpkin puree and add all the spices to it. A little nutmeg, a little cinnamon, a little ginger, and a little pumpkin spice. Since we've added all our spices, we are going to make sure that this gets all whisked together. So now I'm going to add the egg, the vanilla, and the oil. I usually like to start with one egg, egg at a time to make sure that each egg is well distributed. I like to make sure the egg is thoroughly mixed before I continue on with the other wet ingredients. A little dash of a vanilla, a quarter cup of oil, and then we're gonna continue to whisk it all together. This may look a little wet to you, but that's all a good thing. Now the next biggest step is to add your wet ingredients into your sweet creamed butter that you did earlier. The biggest thing here is that you're adding a wet ingredient into a fat. So it's very, very important to make sure all of your pumpkin gets well incorporated. Just start it slowly because you definitely don't want it to splatter all over the place. Our next step is to add the last wet ingredient and that is the sour cream. And what you end up with is something so delicious. So we're gonna incorporate the baking powder and the salt into the flour stir it around once again. I'm going to gently turn on the mixer. Gradually add a spoonful at a time. Well, we're done mixing all of our ingredients. Now we're ready to prepare our pan. I've already sprayed the pan with some cooking spray. Now I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. Instead of flour, is that the sugar adds this nice sweet little crust. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit in here. Then you just kind of tilt your pan all the way around. Scoop it in here. As I mentioned earlier, this is only half of the recipe that's in my short and simple cookbook. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on it, a slightly crunchy top to it. What I usually do is either tap it or just gently bang it because what this does, any of those air pockets that are left in there, kind of push them all out. I think it's all set. Let's put it in the oven. So you got it in the oven? So bake it for about 35 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven, and until it rises and becomes golden brown. Before taking the bread out of the oven, one thing you should do is to test it. And if your knife or toothpick comes out clean, you're gonna have great bread. Comes out clean, you are ready for good bread. It's a golden brown and I can smell the spices. Take it out of the oven, set it down on the cooling rack, I personally hate waiting for 45 minutes, but it's gonna be well worth it. I've got the bread out of the pan, I'm ready to go. I can smell all the spices and I've got butter on the side. I have a sharp knife ready. I'm gonna slice it up and get ready to serve. Well, once you have your bread all cut up, just take your slices and arrange it on your plate. Fall is just right around the corner and I'm gonna look forward to making lots of this pumpkin bread to give to my family, friends, or save it for another day. Enjoy! 
And remember to check back soon for some more recipes. And don't forget to pick up your copy at any online retailer or bookstore. Till next time.